No, that run to the Sweet 16 as well. Lost to Kansas in the Sweet 16 after wins against New Mexico State and Auburn at the NCAA tournament. This is Cooper. Not, a, not known as a three-point shooter, but they uh, trailed him on that high screen and gave him a good look. First field goal of the game for the Tigers. Racing right back to the rim. In South Carolina earlier today. We'll keep an eye open in case anybody trickles into the building. But the focus right now, Marquise Reed on a runner, Mike. He's going old school for two. Who have not won in Durham since 1995. Turnover by Lipscomb. To the rim and the hammer, John Newman. Hold on to the basketball, please. Scara knocks that one away. He's got eyes for the rim. Scara! Chance at back-to-back three-point play. They're going to get four new guys in the floor, and uh, Casey Alexander not happy, but uh, Scara, and he was a guy, and you know, we talked to Brad Brownell about which Brad Brownell in his ninth year and 17th overall. Long range. Reed's got it for three. The sophomore. Matthews had it rejected from Thomas. He'll run an odd man break. Just a little bit overzealous in that instance. Averages over six rebounds per game. Reed off the curl had it swiped away. Kenny Cooper waits for reinforcements in the form of Marbury with the layup. Pulls it and loses it. They gave a clear on it, but uh, Lipscomb coming with a late double team. Just another unforced error. Reed came over to challenge the attempt from Moran. Mitchell between the legs to ripple up and in. Shelton Mitchell. Reed was 19 at halftime for the Tigers. Scara stepping back. Oh, what a big lift he's given him in the second half. And uh, then also getting it done on the offensive end, knocking down the going to be the 10th win of the season for the Clemson Tigers who improved their record at home in Little John Coliseum to 7-1. Final count, 84-67.